Hey YouTube, it's Joella. Welcome back to my channel and I'm going to be doing a products I regret buying video for you guys. And I've been waiting to do this for so, so long because there's a lot to talk about, alright? Okay, so this huge makeup bag and some extras that couldn't even fit in it have made it to the list and I'm going to try my very, very best to give all this information to you guys in a speedy, 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 speedy manner. So I'm just going to pull the randoms out of this bag. Um, the first thing we have is the Physician's Formula Magic Mosaic Multicolored Custom Blush in Nude or Warm Nude. And this is basically a blush and as you can see there are different colors in it. It's like a mosaic type thing, kind of like a scaly, circly kind of blush. And the issue I had with this as soon as I got it was actually because as soon as I swatched it, nothing would come off. Like, there's nothing on my finger right now, and that is the most frustrating thing in the world because I don't want to feel like I have to claw my way into this darn blush just to get blush on. So, no. 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 Alright, um, while we're on the topic of blush, can we just talk about these? Like, no. These are the... NYC Cheek Glow Powder Blushes, and I have the colors West Side Wine, which is sort of a brown plummy color, and this color in Riverside Rose, which I wouldn't really call rose, it would be more like a sort of peachy, peachy kind of pink, but yeah. Anyway, so they look pretty in the pan. Every time I try these, I try to like them, I try to swatch them. They just wouldn't work. I tried to use like a dense brush with them and, and I put it on, it looked gray. And I just, I couldn't make these work and I feel like I shouldn't have to work so hard for blush and I have way too many blushes anyway, so I'm just gonna, you know, put these out. So this and this, purge. So I have a bunch of Maybelline mascaras. The Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara, the Pumped Up Colossal Mascara, and the Great Lash Mascara. Let's start with the Great Lash because this is so popular on YouTube and it's the so-called beginner's mascara. No, 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 no. This mascara never dried for me and it's too wet. And not in a wet sense where it's like it coats on your lashes in a nice way and everything applies evenly. Mm -mm. It's wet, so wet. As soon as you put it on, it just gets everywhere. And I'm like panda eyes as soon as I put it on. And I can't, I can't deal with that. And then I thought maybe a few months, maybe if I let it dry out a little bit, then it will be fine. It never dried. I don't know what's wrong with this mascara. It just never dried. And I think that the lashes that I got from it were just subpar. I feel like lashes... My lashes, I like them to be long and nice. I don't think that that's like, like super glamorous, like way too glamorous or anything. Like if I wanted to go glam on lashes, I would put on false lashes. But this is no, no, no. By the way, that was the waterproof version. Next up, the Pumped Up Colossal Balm Express Mascara. Now this is also the waterproof version. Um, uh, this one was too dry. This one just... It was flaky, it was too dry, and I just felt like I had a hard time using it and I didn't feel like it was worth the trouble and the results that I got from them wasn't necessarily, from this, ne wasn't necessarily great. So I just, I would never purchase this ever, ever. Really regret buying this. And of course, last but not least, is the Mega Plush Mascara. I did notice that my lashes felt nice, but I'm not going around my day touching my lashes all day. No. It just made them look natural, and I just... I don't really care for that. It was alright. It clumped, it flaked, and... I just didn't... No. I'm sorry. I can't. No. It's not very good. So, that, these two perch. Okay, this is a Maybelline lipstick and it's in the color Sugared Almond. Now my problem with this isn't the formula, but the color that I got and it's like so frosty. Like this could be like highlight, but no, 
I'm not gonna put lipstick on my lip, my cheeks like that. No, yeah, this is like so frosty. I don't know who this was complimenting or who they were thinking this was gonna be complimenting, but no. And if I wanted that shine on my lips, I just use a gloss and this isn't particularly a good color to cover over because it's more white than anything. So no, purge. So these are the little samples of the Laura Geller Big City Shine Lip Glosses. I have Starstruck, All That Glitters, and Spotlight. No. <laughs> Who in their right mind would wear like these on their lips. Like this is straight up white spackle, gold, and like a gross orange. No, no. And they're so, these are so glittery. Also, I hate these like applicators because you squeeze them out of this little tube and it, there's no control and it's so glittery. It's just not worth it and look, Look. Look. Look at how gold that is. Like, I just don't wear gold on my lips. I don't know what I would wear that with. But these are going in the trash. So a couple months back, I actually got the Ellen Tracy Thick Stick lipsticks from uh, TJ Maxx. And this color just wasn't wearable. And you saw that in the video. <laughs> um, yeah, first of all, it applies really weird and patchy, and it's just way too pink, like way too light pink, like, and it's gonna... <sighs> it just washes me out real bad, real bad guys, so bad. Speaking of washing me out, there's this uh, NYX lipstick, it's an old lipstick of theirs, it's the Black Label lipstick in the color Nude, and can we just talk about... It looks pretty right until you put it against my skin tone okay let's do it on a clean hand it looks really pretty it looks beautiful swatched and then on my skin it's just no no i put it on my lips and i feel like no no i re no when i put these on my lips i feel like i'm about to turn into a white walker. Just say. Next up are these Wet n Wild lipsticks. And these are their um, Mega Last, I think, lipsticks. And I like the formula. These are matte. My issue with these are that the colors just don't suit me. Um, not the formula, just the colors. And they have the colors Pinker Bell and Think Pink. And um, a lot of pinks tend to wash me out. Um, these colors just didn't work for me. Sorry. <laughs> and next up is this, oh my god, this Lip Tattoo 24-7 <sighs> Hydrating Lip Stain from J-Cat Beauty. And oh, all the no. I'm going to give this to a friend because I barely used it. Um, the thing about this liquid lipstick is that it doesn't dry. And it gets everywhere. It's not like this like comfortable matte it just doesn't dry and it transfers like crazy. It gets everywhere. As soon as I eat, it like clown face immediately. So no, nope, 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 purge. This is the uh, Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede Lipstick in the color It Girl. Oh God. <laughs> um, these apply really patchy and they become patchier throughout the day. The color isn't pigmented. You have to build it up and it looks so bad. It does not die with dignity at all and you kind of just look like crumbly in the worst sense. Worse than liquid lipsticks. Like it just... Mm. 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 You don't want your lips looking like that. It looks like old and crusty and... Oh no. No. Oh god. Next up is this Mineral Fusion Mineral SPF 30 Brush on Sun Defense. And um, my beef with this is that while it is a cool idea to have um, powdered SPF because then you can touch up with it, this sheds 
insanely. Like, this just isn't worth it. Like, if your brush sheds and there's no other way to get the product out, it's just terrible. Also, getting the product out of this was so hard. I just, I can't. So I'm going to return this. This is the one thing that I can return right now. All of this stuff, I just couldn't return. This, I will return. Um, next, eyes. We have the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner. And this is the mechanical pencil one. Um, very black. Um, this happened the first time, too. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? It broke as soon as I tried to s swatch it. The color has to be built up. My beef with this is that it transfers like crazy and it runs. I just, I can't wear it. It's a very dry kind of eyeliner. It's not creamy when you put it on and it just, it's not worth it. And the black isn't intense enough. And I just, I couldn't like you. It also has a sponge tip and the um, built-in sharpener, but I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't use this in any way. I just, I tried it a long time ago for a while, a lot, and I just ended up with raccoon eyes. And it's not for me being terrible at makeup in the initial process. It just, it just couldn't work out. I found better things. Goodbye. Uh, the last few things, this Wet n Wild Mega Lash Serum. You put it on your eyelashes and they're supposed to make your lashes grow. I couldn't get through the weeks that needed to test this because it burned my eyes. And if something that needs to be so close to your eye burns your eyes, maybe you shouldn't be wearing them. Just a thought. Purge. Next is this Lip Plumper and Lip Primer from e.l.f. Ugh. Oh, such regret. So the plumper... The plumper just broke off. Um, it's supposed to have a plumper and it's supposed to tingle your lips and plump them up. It smells minty and nice. Um, and then on the other side you have this crayon. This uh, lip primer and it's... It's supposed to basically cancel out the color of your lips so that when you put it, put your lip lipstick on, it gives it the true color of your lipstick, um, therefore priming your lipstick. However, I like the colors of my lipstick. I don't like how this works. And I just, I couldn't make this product work and now it's broken and I don't care. I just don't care anymore for this product and it just never worked for me. I don't like when my lipstick has to change color. I don't think it helped with the staying power, so purge. The second to last product that I have is the Orly, Orly, Orly Color Blast Nail Polish in Winter Blush. And it's this really pretty glowy pink. It has like a purple sheen to it and it's really gorgeous. Um, the color is nice. The application was just okay. But the thing that ticked me off was the staying powder because powder, powder, the staying power because it just, it just chipped the next day and it looked terrible. It looked like that time period when it hasn't dried yet and you like hit it with something and it gets all like crumply on your no purge and the last thing is this <laughs> wet and wild oh man oh man mega ice cream eyeshadow and it looks really pretty it has a bunch of purples and pinks and jewel tone colors and it's very very creamy However, my beef with this is that it just doesn't dry. It kind of feels like lip gloss on your eyes. You don't want that. Yeah, they kind of just stay sticky. These aren't like the Maybelline color tattoos because those, they are cream, like a heavy cream. And as soon as you start blending it out with your finger, the pigment stays 
and it dries to a powder immediately and it just stays all day it's what i'm wearing right now on my eyes and it's just gorgeous but this stays tacky the colors pick off and it's just a mess a mess you can't work with this and i'm sorry i don't know whose idea it was to make this but i'm sorry no oh god the formula 10.0.6 masks these burned my face terribly terribly no i just couldn't handle them and it wasn't like like a burning nice like sensation it was like burn like my face couldn't handle it my body couldn't handle it i recoiled in pain um the next one is the physician's formula super beauty bomb powder and this did nothing i just i couldn't work with it it just was too powdery it just didn't work like every other powder foundation i used and i just had high hope for it high hopes for it and it just didn't work i'm sorry i'm sorry i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh give me a thumbs up down below comment on what products you've regretted buying these past few months and of course don't forget to subscribe so you can see me next time and then i can see and talk to your wonderful faces so yeah bye youtube